board. Testing, testing. Hello, hello. Maybe, maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna try something here. We're gonna try something a little bit different here. All right. What am I even doing? All right, so obviously I set up some different camera angles here and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit better. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to make videos and we're supposed to improve at those videos, right? One camera angle is just super easy, but I'm just trying to, you know, I'm a nice kind of guy. I wanna, I wanna make people happy. I'd like to maybe from time to time show a little, maybe a little mixing going on right there at the palette. I don't know. You know, take the old, uh, the old brush going there and you see, you get the idea. You see some of it, right? I can just stand right here and then I can move out of the way and then we can switch to the other camera angle and now you can see the canvas. All right. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do real quick. I am, I'm just gonna take a little bit of, just for the heck of it, just grabbing a little thinner, a little paint thinner. And I'm slinging it all over me. Slinging the paint thinner. I'm putting just some white paint up here on the canvas. Now this is just a demonstration for the purpose of the cameras, the angles, all that. This is not a painting lesson. Well, this could teach you to paint clouds, all right? So I'm just dropping in. I just actually used, I just took a little, a drop of paint thinner to get some white paint up here on the canvas. And I'm just mixing that around, scrubbing it into the canvas, going about halfway down, something like that. You see, come up here and I could just kind of, I can get used to this, I suppose. Maybe stand back here, I don't know. I have to get used to this. So maybe when I'm mixing my colors, I can just get in the position of standing here, possibly, I don't know. We have to see how this goes, okay? So no promises. No promises. Okay, all right, so now let's just make a, let's make a couple clouds real quick. So I'm gonna go right over to here, okay? I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of the, uh, of the red. All right, it's our CAD red here. Just a little bit of that stuff, okay? And I'm gonna just put some up here. Just like this. Now remember I put some of that color, that white paint, you know, about halfway, okay? Okay, that's about good right there. Now, let's go over here. Let's take some, this paint's from the other day. It's probably a little dry. That's all right. <laughs> it's Prussian blue. Let's take a little bit of this. And just pop it right up here. Now you, I just got some paint flung on me. Now you saw, you saw there's no medium up here. I took a drop of paint thinner and all I did was put some white paint, mix that in and put the paint up here, okay? A beautiful little blue color. All right. While we're at it, let's take a tiny bit of the, uh, I got to get used to this position here. I think I'm doing good so far. You have to let me know in the comments. This is super important. I want everybody's feedback. I'm going to post this video. I would like each person that watches this video to tell me some feedback on this, whether you like it or whether you don't like it. Okay. It's going to determine whether or not I do this because it's a lot of work. All right. So I'm taking a little tiny bit of black, touch it into the blue. Give it a nice little blue grade look. I'm just gonna hit these corners real quick. Boom, there, and boom, there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my palette down. Real quick, fix my little, 
Mm. Fix my little Furby right there. All right, I'm just gonna wipe this real quickly. This is my little page. I could use both angles. I could use this angle and I could use this angle right about there. Okay. All right. I just want to smooth this out a little bit. I darken the corners because it's a good thing to do when you're painting a picture. It kind of draws whoever's looking. It draws them into the center, keeps their eyes from wandering off of the edge. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep wiping and wiping, wipe this off a little bit more. And I'm going to carefully come in right where the blue meets the red or the pink or whatever color it is. And I'm just gonna try to distort that line, just blend it together. You probably should use a clean brush. I'm using a dirty one for the sake of demonstration purposes. All right, little circles maybe, I don't know. Right down into the pink. Okay. Now you want it to be nice and light at the horizon. So let me just grab a little bit of white here on this dirty, dirty brush. A little bit of white right there. And that's nah, not enough. Let's grab a lot of white. This is a demonstration, right? Look at that. I'm just gonna shoom, shoom it in there. See that? That kind of lightened up the horizon, would you say? Okay, all right, not bad. All right, now, set that down. All right, let's get a fan brush. Now, if you're a beginner, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are a beginner, this is what I'm gonna to recommend to you right now. I'm gonna recommend that you get yourself a number three fan brush. You can get them anywhere on Amazon. You can really get them anywhere. Number three, they will help you make clouds. A number three fan brush is the secret to making clouds for beginners. All right, here we go. The nice new camera angle here. All right, don't forget, feedback below or I won't do it. Here we go. We're gonna take this number three, number three fan brush. Look at that, pulling it through, nice and thick, nice and thick. Mmm, yummy. See that? Pulling it, a lot of paint. Get some paint on there, don't be afraid of it. See that? Nice and thick. Nice. Get it on there. Now, we're gonna go right up here, and I'm gonna kinda ride this line the, where the red meets the blue. I'm gonna start right here, I'm gonna do these little baby circles. I'm gonna work down, up, down, up, see that? Now, back over here, let's go ahead and get a little bit more. Keep loading, keep loading, get fresh paint on your brush. Let's go right up here. Circle, Whew. flip corners, see that? I mean, it does not get any easier than what you're seeing right here. All right, back over here, gotta get used to the angle. <laughs> more paint, more paint. All right, we're just gonna follow the, follow the wave. Shoom, right there, flip the corners. I like flipping the corners. See that? Flip the corners. All right, down here, we could just kinda do little whatevers. Whatever we want. This cloud is just going everywhere. See that? See that? Doing little baby circles down below here, just kinda spreading it out. All right, <clears throat> all right, let me set that down real quick. Now, set the fan brush down. Grabbing me a two-inch brush right here. Nice, clean two-inch brush. Man, I'm really liking this. What do you think? How do I look? Do I look serious? I look like I'm focused. Yeah. All right, here we go. Two-inch two inch brush. Blend them. Blend the bottoms of these clouds out. Look at that. Mm. They look tasty, tasty, tasty clouds. Look at that, blend, blend, blend. See that, using the corner, Use, I'm using whatever. I'm using the corner, the flat part. I'm using the hold arm brush. All right, see that? Just didn't touch the tops. Give the old two inch a nice little wiping, all right? And then the magic, the magic lift. You gotta love the magic lift. Thanks, Bob. The magic lift. See that, nice lift. And then we're gonna 
Let me just get that little, little, little guy going out of there. Nice little soft, soft back and forth. All right, let's put that back up there like that. Here we go, here we go. All right, bonus, little bonus tip. Okay, bonus tip. Leave your feedback below. Here we go. Back to the, uh, the fan, number three fan. Some paint. Let's just make a little layer here. So I'm gonna start right here. And I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna drop down into the nice area. What the heck am I doing? See that? Nice layer. A little bit more. I'm just circling it like crazy. Okay. Set that pallet down. I don't know if I'll be setting the pallet down. If I end up doing it, I'll probably hold the pallet the entire time. Now look, we're just going to repeat that process. I'm just, just really softening the bottom here. See that? Lift, 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 lift. Keep them on lifting. Lift them up, lift them up. Thanks again, Bob. Lift them. And then here we go. Hey. Well, what do you think? What do you think about that right there? I think, I think that was a pretty handy little demonstration of some uh, some clouds. Would you have to, you know, would you agree with me or would you not agree? I'm going to say this video is going to be less than 12 minutes, probably, for a nice little double layered sky full of clouds. So do me a favor. On a very serious note, guys, I am. <clears throat> excuse me. I am trying my best to improve things. It's already hard enough for me to do one camera angle and do the recording and do the editing and do all this stuff. But now I'm trying to add this in here. So you have this view right here and you also have the view of this right here so you can actually see the canvas. So please let me know um, if this is something that you think would increase your time of watching the videos or if it would help you leave all of your information below, all of your comments below and uh, Maybe, just maybe, we will do another one just like this as a sample with a mountain and a nice landscape. So, yeah, so that's it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this, uh, this change that is taking place here in the studio. And that's it. If you're new here, um, I have a very interesting story. So go back, watch some of my videos. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all of the things. And I will see you in the very next video. Peace.